Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with the blogtowatch.com. Please subscribe to Blog to Watch videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is the Devon Steampunk Tread One, otherwise known as the Devon Tread One Steampunk. It's a special limited edition version of the Tread One. And I want to start this video with a cool little thing that this watch does that never fails to impress me, and it's cool. <laughs> and uh, right now the watch is in the off position, which is why it shows 12 o'clock. And it still keeps track of the time inside, but it doesn't show the time. It does this to save um, power. This is an electronic watch using a series of uh, little motors, and you can see these motors right here. Here's two of them to drive these belts, which tell the time. So when you turn it back on, it does this little uh, dance with the belts. And there you go, it's 440. Now, it's actually in a special mode right now that is called uh, power saving mode, where it tells the time, but it doesn't have the seconds uh, belt running. Um, and there's a good reason to keep it in this one. What you do to turn it back on is, you turn, it's not really a crown, it's more like a joystick. You turn it over to the left, and then it starts to go. Now you can keep track of the running seconds, but the problem is that it is extremely, how should I say, um, well, it's loud. And I have the microphone here a little far away. I'm going to put the microphone a little bit closer to the watch. That's cool to watch, but that quickly gets a little bit, um, I don't want to say annoying, but it's, it's a loud thing. And you're going to want to keep it in that power saving mode most of the time. So in order to engage it again, you put that crown over to the the left again. And now the only time you're going to hear noise is when the hour and minute belts move, which is going to be once a minute. It still makes a kind of um, gear type of noise, but it's a lot more manageable. This is the type of watch that has that type of calling card sound, which says, hey, I, I want you to notice me because I'm the Devon Tread One, and in this case, the Steampunk. So this is not the most quiet watch in the world but you don't wear this watch <laughs> to be quiet. I can't see anyone wearing this watch, not wanting people to pay attention to what's on their wrist. And now, in addition to the visuals, you have the added, <laughs> the, the added benefit of the sound. That's what you get with the Tread One. And that's a cool thing. I originally wrote about the Tread One about two years ago, I think, when it first came out. And Devin is working on a follow-up model, which I can't discuss too much, but it's going to be very interesting. And this Steampunk model is a limited edition version that they never really wanted to make, but they had some renders. They were playing around with the idea, and enough people liked it. They said, you know what? Screw it. We're going to make a limited edition. So let's talk a little bit more about the base watch in case it's something that you're not too familiar with. Devin is a California-based brand that wanted to do something different, and they wanted to make a high-end watch, but not, not like anything the Europeans were going to make. So... The first thing they decided is they want to do something with these belts. Now, in order to do this effectively, it was impossible and would have been outrageously expensive to make it actually mechanical. So this is a, this is a quartz-based watch, but obviously much more sophisticated than your normal quartz watch. It has a microcontroller, it has software inside, it has these little motors, it has these sensors to make sure that the belts are lined up properly. If the belts go out of line, it self-adjusts. It's got, it's got all types of you know, really cool little, little features like that that make this more than just a, a toy. I remember when the Tread One first came out, there was people on YouTube and they were saying things like, wait till China comes out with their $50 version and blah, 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 blah. Because the original one, um, now costs, I believe, somewhere like eighteen thousand dollars, which is which is a hefty sum of money for you know a timepiece like this. For collectors, you know, it's it's obviously not that insane um, as well compared to mechanical watches, which can cost you know many many more time sets. So it's actually kind of a good value, and it was recognized by the Europeans as being a very interesting watch. This one is a little bit more. And, I'll, and I'll, I'll get to that in a second. But I just wanted to sort of show you off a little features here about what's different. The case is essentially the same, but you have these um, bronze components here, which are naturally going to patina. So this one is, I think this is like the very first model ever made. And it's, you know, it's a couple of weeks old. And you can tell that there's a little bit of patina there on the bronze, which looks kind of cool. There's these rivets, which have been put in by hand. There's these kind of screws that come out of the side there. And there's an overall kind of bronze and 
brown look to it. The original was more like a steel and black look. Um, and of course the dial as well, you have this plate that goes over the belt so you can read the time properly, is now in a bronze tone as opposed to steel. So while one looked very modern, this one also looks very modern but has that very much steampunk industrial look that a lot of people think is very, very cool. I've been wearing this around a little bit and yeah, it, it, it definitely gets noticed. I mean, this is, this is the type of watch that people are going to look at it and be like, what is that? And in fact, it's so, I want to say the word outrageous, that so many people look at it and they don't even say anything. They don't know what to say. They don't know whether to compliment it or to ask, what is that? They just kind of look at it in awe, like, oh my God, what is, you know, what is this person wearing? Um, it's just about as heavy, maybe a little bit heavier because of the extra metal um, than the original Tread One. And of course, you know, it's a, it's a different flavor. It's quite nice. This brown leather strap is attractive. This kind of like aged metal look is very, very cool. But overall, it's the same type of experience in a different flavor. The Tread One Steampunk is going to be limited to just 150 pieces. Actually, I lied. This is number two of 150, not number one. Number one is still out there somewhere. So 150 pieces, it's going to be available in uh, some of the places where you can get Devon watches. And, and this is fantastic. I mean, this is like a cool thing. I love that things like this exist. It's definitely quirky. Um, oh, and the battery lasts about two to three weeks. There's, a, there's a, a magnetic induction charger. You just kind of plop the watch on there, plug it in. And like I said, it's good for about two to three weeks with normal use. And, you know, you can turn it off at night and stuff like that to extend it a little bit. But, you know, it, while it is battery powered, it does have a lithium ion battery. It's going to last about as long as possible, given the fact that it does all this cool stuff. And it's just fun. It's a fun timepiece. And I just wanted to one more time show you this before I turn it off. Price for this model is going to be about $25,000, um, give or take a little bit. I'm not exactly sure. And you can see the full review of the Devon Tread One Steampunk on a blog to watch. Thanks.